welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm, uh, I have to say I'm quite impressed by how much content I'm getting out at the moment. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's always new stuff coming out onto the YouTube channel. I actually put, do most work on my YouTube channel. So if you're wanting to see what's happening and keep up with all the cool stuff that I'm doing, if you think it's cool, uh, you know, get subscribed to the channel, guys, so you can, you can see it. Um, I finished it. Now, I know you don't know what I mean by that. Um, I did a video a little while ago, uh, um, and it was just showing you uh, the computer-generated design of what I wanted to uh, to create. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to jump off and I'm going to show you a quick glance of the video, the, the, graph, the lightsaber that was generated by the computer. Well, I created it on the computer in software, so I'm going to quickly jump to that. I'm also going to jump to a picture of the current model that I have been making and selling on the website and then you're going to come back to my wonderful presence and I will show you um, the uh, the new lightsaber I've just finished the second so uh, let's go uh, here is uh, the uh, computer generated one I'm just uh, I've muted the clip so you can't hear me talking on it uh, but I'm just quickly uh, having a quick look around that so you can see what it looks like and I, uh, I put that video up a little while ago um, and it's, it's one I quite like uh, and now I'm going to just uh, put a few photos up so uh, here's the first photo uh, and this is as you can clearly tell this is the Darth Vader hilt or shall I say this was the Darth Vader hilt that I was creating uh, up until very recently, until a couple of months ago. Well, no, um, well, until now, uh, basically, end of March. Um, I don't know how to pose that uh, that statement, but it is now done. Uh, so, as you can see, these photos here, it shows you what it was. I was I was never happy with the fully the full end of the design. Uh, I didn't think it was crisp enough. And clean enough as a design it was it was a nice it was completely handmade from scratch all those parts uh, were completely made by hand uh, handmade parts and uh, hand poured cast plastic so it was really good but uh, I'm gonna jump back to me now so hello again here it is I'm gonna show you it guys oh <laughs> it looks so good on camera it looks good in my hand as well but look at that so I have finally got the Darth Vader lightsaber hilt mocked up. Got the D-ring at the back, it's great. Got these absolutely brilliant ribs. Obviously, I, got, I like I put the detail at the bottom, but you have these brilliant ribs. Uh, nice, crisp, clean ribs. All six of them. Uh, which is a huge, huge improvement over the old ribs. Um, and the ribs was something I really didn't like and wasn't very happy with. Uh, but now we also have this awesome switch section. So we've got detailing on the switch. We have the little um, latch. Obviously it doesn't move, but you have the mock-up of the little latch there as well. And then on the emitter, I've been wanting to do these things for ages. And it was just a nightmare to do it. And then I figured out how to do it. I was like, yay! So you've got three vents at the front, you've got two vents and you've got these at the side. These will be, uh, the back will be red and the front will be blue. I still need to complete that, so that'll be red and that'll be blue. And then just a little bit further down, there's just a little, another tiny one right there. And which looks really cool. But even on the back of the emitter, we've got some really nice detailing finally. The blade fits inside it beautifully, so the blade is right in there, a nice flush fit. And it's just, it is such a nice hilt. And it's actually smaller than the old one, so I'm going to get my trusty ruler. Uh, so from the start of the emitter, 10 inches, dead on. So from here, straight down to there, 10 inches. Um, and it's, it's just... It's, it's a Darth Vader hill, it's chunky around the side, but it's nice, it's clean, it's crisp, it's beautifully finished. I'm so, so glad I finally could create a Darth Vader hill that I, I am proud of. I, I, I don't, I, I had the budget range one, 
and there must have been about six or seven different models that I created for the budget Darth Vader. For the main Darth Vader I went through one, two, four or five. I have never got to a point with the Darth Vader hilt that I can think of where uh, I can go, right, I can stop now. I've now done the Darth Vader hilt. I've never got to that point, but guys, I think I'm there. I want to know what you think. Have I, have I finally, have I finally achieved a Darth Vader hilt that one is a good enough uh, likeness to the one in the film? I know there's not going to be three vents on the front there. I wanted to do that, but ha have I justified it? Have I can you tell me? Can have I now got to the point with a Darth Vader where you can turn around and go? You know what, Ben? Yeah. That is a very good Darth Vader hilt. That looks like the hilt from the films. I would be happy with that. Have I finally done it, guys? Please let me know. I don't know where to put, make these rivets black. You know what? No, I'm going to keep the rivets as uh, as white. I think I want to keep them white. But yeah, it's. I'm so happy. And I, I, the, the D. It's just a mock up. This, by the way. <laughs> but the D ring at the back. I'm happy with how that has turned out and you can see that the D ring literally the D starts right at the very end of where that is which is and it blends in as well it, it just, it's oh I'm so happy so so happy I can't wait when these two when these parts here and here uh, these rib things when they're finished and the colored and the colored up oh I, I, I can't I'll just be so so bloody happy I don't want to swear but yeah have I done it guys I'm gonna let you be the judge for me personally I can now finally say that I have now produced a Darth Vader hill that is as good as any that I've seen on the internet um, and for me personally is is what a Darth Vader hill should be I also like how this is smaller something I always had trouble with Comments. I need comments, guys. Have I done it? You tell me. You're the judge. You're the customer, not me. You're the one that will take this in hand and go, yeah, that's a Darth Vader hill. Yes, that feels right. The proportions are correct. A little fluff on that. I hate fluff. You know, it's it's you. You are the guys. Like, you're the judges. You know. Would you buy that? Anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. Thank you so much for checking out the Darth Vader hill that I've just done. Uh, even though it is a mock-up. Uh, I will get one with lights and you'll see that one day, which will be great. I'm like, yay. Uh, but thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all on the next video.